Hi guys, Titi here. What? So my channel name is Titi Love. My name is Mathia. Um, I just wanted to go crazy with the name. But welcome to my channel. Channel? Channel. Oh, I can't talk. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> I'm happy to have you guys here to watch my video. Um, if you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new, hi. <laughs> that was so awkward uh, anyways but yeah welcome to my channel today I am doing a review on something I got for my birthday I saved up for because I wanted it so badly my first ever Urban Decay um, naked palette it's the naked oh just kidding it's the naked heat palette 12 amazing wait one two three four five six Okay, I was right. 12, 12 shades. Oh, it's so pretty. 12 gorgeous shades. Uh, there's about five shimmers. Four stronger shimmers and then one like bone white shimmer. Love it. But anyways, so yeah, if you are interested in seeing how this palette plays out on the eyes, here we are. And then, ta-da. Um, but yeah, so if you want to see my review, swatches, and just how I put it on my eyes, what colors I use, just keep on watching then. This gorgeous beauty. Bam. I'm just kidding. No, this is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. Oh my god, you guys. This is the first ever Urban Decay palette I've had. Um, and I'm obsessed. I got it for my birthday. Here's the packaging. So pretty. And then it comes with like a little box. I'll take it out. And I've already used a lot of it, so... Here's what it looks like. Excuse my nails, they're a little messed up. But they're gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Um, and so, first off, what I did is I already put all my face makeup on, um, except my highlight. And then on my eyes, I have, um, I put this MAC Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot as kind of like an eye primer. Um, and I will say this works amazing. And then to set that, what I use. Um, is my modern renaissance palette in the color uh, tempera right here this creamish color just to set it all and so now I'm gonna go in with the naked heat palette and um, I'm gonna be using my brush that's broken because it's one of my favorite brushes Bam! it had it was two end it was like double ended uh, but I broke it off <laughs> whoops anyways so yeah this is a big fluffy blending brush. I'm going to go in with this color here. It's called Chaser. As I just dropped the brush it comes with. Whoops. Um, and this is going to be my transition shade. So I'm just going to go right in. <sighs> my nose is stuffy, guys. Sorry. If I'm all sniffling and stuff. And then go into the other side. I'm going to put this in. I love how pigmented it is. Um, and it's so, like, creamy and f smooth. Uh, there is some fallout, which, I mean, most eyeshadow palettes have some fallout. Like, that don't bother me. That's why you tap that. Anyways. And now I'm going to dip into Low Glow. It's a very, like, tannish brown color. And I'm just going to go a little under the transition in the crease. Uh, right here I will say the one thing that I wish this palette had a little more of is the shimmery shade I wish they were a little more pigmented because um, even if you use a wet brush or you use your finger it doesn't come as cross as strong as it looks in the palette so that kind of frustrates me a little but here's my eyes and then you just want to blend it out really good. Um, now I'm going to go in with this reddish copperish color right here. And it's called He Devil. Um, and at the end of the video, I'll do a whole bunch of swatches of each color. 
just so you have an idea. And I'm going to be going on the outer crease of my lid uh, like that. And it looks a little crazy right now, but I'm going to blend it out really good. I'm going to dip in a little more. And then I'm just going to bring it into the crease, but not on the lid, on the inner crease. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to do it again to the other eye. Okay. Oh, my nose is so stuffy. I think my allergies are going crazy because I'm in Iowa, so like the Midwest. So our weather's always changing. Like one day it'll be really hot, the next it'll be like rainy and cold. It's just it's how it is because summer's ending and you know, all that fun stuff. Now I'm going to dip into Enfuego, this reddish color right here. It's kind of like a magenta color, I would say. Um, oh my god, I can't breathe. Sorry, you guys, I don't mean to sniffle a, a lot. And then now I'm going to go on the outer crease again. Um, just the outer crease part. And then I do the other eye. like that okay and then dig into ashes which is like a really dark purple color right here right there it's a gorgeous color it's called ashes and I'm gonna take my little blending brush um, and then just go in the corner again the outer crease but not as wide depth and then I'll go back in with my big blending brush And then just put that in there. This is a really good, like, smoky eye look. Great for, like, a night on the town type look. But I'd be wearing it to work. Because <laughs> I'd be wearing it to work. I don't think that makes sense. I'd be working. You know what I mean. <sighs> I can't focus too much on that. So now I'm going to dip back into, uh, actually I'm going to go into Sauced, which is a very, like, neutral brown color. Um, you see all that? Woo! And I'm just gonna go back over the top to kind of help blend everything together. And then the lightest, sh one of the lighter shades, it's not shimmer, is the chaser one. The other one, um, ounce, is a little shimmery. At least that's my take. Uh, let me put this on right here. So there's that. And then I just fix it up a little. There we go. Now I'm going to take the other end of that little blending brush, um, which is right there, and I'm going to go into the ashes color. Because I'm doing kind of a dark look with this palette because that's what I really like this palette for but also because it's so versatile it's really warm toned which I really like um, it has some lighter tones so it's not so uh, harsh or smoky I guess you could say um, but it's a great like fall palette or a night on the town like when I went to Minnesota I took this with me and uh, I was so obsessed with it that my friend ended up buying herself one because she loved it so much. And I'm so glad this is my first, like, uh, product with the company because it's amazing. It's balls. Yes, I said it. So I'm just taking that purple color and going under my eyes. I find that it helps give it that smoky look. Um... And then under the purple, I'm going to dip into the He Devil color, the really copperish color, kind of. Um, oh. And then going under. And I'm sorry to be, like, doing this video when I'm sick, but I wanted to get this out there because I've had a lot of people asking me where my where I got my eyeshadow from. Um, so I thought I would share. 
in case you guys want it. So like that. And I like to bring my eyeshadow like way out. Okay, now next up, I'm going to take a very um, dense brush, which is like kind of packed together tightly. And then I'm going to take my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. And I'm just going to spray the brush. And then kind of take a towel and like get some of the excess water off, or the excess spray off, I should say. And then I'm going to go in with... I think I'm going to go in with this color right here, this lumber shade. It's like a, what would you call that? It's like, it's coppery, orangish, peachish, pe peachish, peachish, if you, if that makes sense. I'm not really good at explaining colors, but that one's pretty. You'll see what it looks like because I'm going to put it on my eyeball. Not literally on my eyeball, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, but yeah, I wish these were a little more pigmented. I mean, they're pigmented, they're just not as, like, bam, you know? Like, oh my god, blinding. But, they're still really pretty. They're just not as... Now I'm going to go in with my finger. I find that gives it a little more payoff. See? See, but, see what I mean, though? It's not, like, as blinding as I want it to be. Oh... But it's a gorgeous color. Like, all the colors are gorgeous. And the matte shades are, like, freaking out of this world. Because they're so pigmented. So I'm just putting this on. Um, like that. And then I'm going to go back in with my big fluffy brush, blending brush, and just get rid of any of the harsh lines that occurred. But yeah, so this is that. I really like this palette a lot, you guys. Um, I'm going to do my uh, eyeliner and mascara and lashes off camera and then I'll come back and do swatches for you and just so you can see the completed look um, but yeah so I'll okay, be back I guys back. and I have my lashes my wing on my eyeliner mascara the works so these lashes I'm wearing I'm like super addicted to because they're like thin so they like give you a little oomph but not like overpowering um, and these are the Ardell Demi Whiskey right here. Um, it's a four pack. Love them. Um, so right now, before I do those swatches, I was just going to put some lipstick on and a little bit of highlight. Um, so you can see what I'm using. So first up, I'm going to do highlight. This is the Becca Opal in the color Opal. It's like a little mini Becca highlight. Um, and I just do it right here above my cheekbone and then on the other one and then Cupid's bow a little right here my forehead just to give it that little shine and then I do some on the tip of my nose and usually like that and you can see it sorry if I look like I'm looking cockeyed it's because I'm looking at my tablet and the camera's on the other side. So there's that. And then I put very little on the bridge of my nose. Like right up top. Just to give it a little, you know, oomph there. And then today what I'm going to be wearing for lipstick is the Wet n Wild uh, Liquid Lipstick. It's the Liquid Catsuit one. Okay, I don't know if this is going to focus. It's not focusing, but it's the uh, Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit in the color Rebel Rose. And so I'm going to put that on um, my lips. Got to move my piercings out of the way. Um, but yeah, I love this. And then just make a little 
Okay. Don't talk when doing lipstick, you guys. There's that color. And then just dry it off a little. I got my fan going, so if you hear it. Okay, I turned it off. <laughs> it gets really hot in my room. Woo! Child. Just kidding. And then now I'm gonna use some sweating spray. Um, I have really been using the Evian uh, setting spray. Well, it's like facial spray. It's like a really good moisturizer. I use this to like give me a quick pick me up at work. It's amazing. I got two mini ones for $12. Uh, but today I'm going to be using the Mario Badescu facial spray. Uh, this is the cucumber and green tea one. And you just spray all over to help set everything. And then I like fan just to kind of... Just so it doesn't like leak off my face because that would not be cool. Um, but yeah, so we do that. Um, and that's my, I need to get a new mirror. Or like an actual fan, like one of those like high fans. Like, I could do that, you know. That'd be really cool. Okay, so now I'm going to do swatches of this palette for you. Um, first up is the ounce color. Oh, I have a bruise on that arm. Okay, we'll use this arm. I didn't even know I had a bruise. I have a couple. <sighs> Probably wouldn't ran into something. I'm very like accident prone. And then there's this color. You can't really see it, um, but it's like a shimmery bone color. And then the next color. I love how creamy they are. They are. This is just not working out. Hold on, I'm gonna do with my arm. These are really light colors. Um, okay. And then we're going to dig into the shimmer color real quick. My swatches are not the best. Okay, so this is the first six colors. Okay. There we go. So from that copperish red color, that's He Devil, and then there's Lumbre, Low Blow, Sauced, Chaser, and Ounce. And so they're really pretty. And then the next ones, I'm just going to do my bruised arm. I will say the Dirty Talk color is actually pretty pigmented. Like when you like swatch it. And there is fallout, guys. I mean, that's just normal. And it blends much better, like, on the eye. So there's those. Okay, how the heck am I supposed to... There we go. So from this color right here, it is Ember, and then Ashes, and Fuego, Cayenne, Scorched, and then Dirty Talk. I'm trying to move my arm so you guys can actually see it. It's really difficult. And because I'm using my tablet, I can't really, like, get a clear shot. Like, it won't, like, clear up. Ooh. 
But yeah, you guys, I, I can't do it justice. It's way prettier in person. Woo, hello camera. But it's like way prettier in person. Um, the palette itself, I would give it like five out of five stars. Well, actually, four and a half. Just because some of the shimmery shades don't transition well on the eye. Like, it's a great, it swatches wonderfully. It just doesn't, um, it's not as intense on the eyes as I'd like it to be. Um, it may work differently for other people. Um, I love the packaging. Super cute. The, the, the naked, um, the lettering is like raised. And then the back has this kind of like, um, kind of like a ripple effect. I really like it. And I love that it's like a hard case, so it's easy to like travel with and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I really love this palette. Um, it's very pigmented, blendable. Uh, there is some fallout, just like with any other eyeshadow palette. The shimmery shades aren't shimmer, 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 ha ha. Shimmery shades, shimmery shades. Oh. It's like a tongue twister all on its own. The shimmery shades aren't as pigmented as I would have liked to, like as intense as I want them to. But I've already said that. So, anyways, if you guys liked watching this video, I loved having you. Uh, please hit that subscribe button down below and like. I'm going to try and start posting three days a week um, with all kinds of videos. Uh, my next video coming up, I'm, well, the next, the second video that's going to be coming up here soon. Um, I'm excited for you guys to see. It's kind of different. But, I'm excited for it and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up a comment let me know what kind of videos you like what you want to see and yeah thanks for watching I'm Athea and have a good night guys